Our next guest is an Emmy Award-winning actor you know from his work on Boardwalk Empire and films like The Irishman, Ant-Man, and Blonde. He stars in The Watcher, which is streaming now on Netflix. Let's take a look. 657 Boulevard has been the subject of my family for decades now. And as it approaches its 100th birthday, I've been put in charge of watching and waiting for its second coming. Someone watched the house in the 1920s, and someone else watched in the 1960s. It is now my time. Do you know the history of the house? Do you know what lies within the walls of 657 Boulevard? I wonder what brought you here. I see already that you have flooded 657 Boulevard with contractors so that you can finish the basement. Why was it left that way? It might not brighten you yet, but it will. Please welcome back to the show our friend Bobby Cannavale, everybody! <laughs> Thank you. I'm so Thank happy you to have you. Um, we both have three kids. Yeah. We've got a couple that are uh, very similar ages. You've yeah. got a six and a five year old. I've got a six and a four year old. I also have a one year old. You also have a 27 year old. I do. I have a tw I've, I've mostly been parenting my whole life. Yeah. Most of my life. Is yeah. the, I mean, it, obviously, it's a big age gap. And I'm wondering, you just did a movie uh, with the incredibly funny Bill Burr called yeah. Old Dads. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. this is about people who have uh, kids later in life. That's I feel right. like I had kids later in life, but you also had one early in life. Have you noticed the difference? Oh yeah, <laughs> big time. I mean, I, I can't. We were at the playground yesterday, and I and my rock. Both guys were like, "Dad, you get on the on the on the monkey bars," and I was like, "I tried," <laughs> and I just I couldn't do it. My shoulders just they didn't they just wouldn't do it. I couldn't yeah. do it. I, mean, I think I can do it. There's many things you think you can do, but you know the main difference is that you know Jake was pretty much an only child growing up, and now I have these two animals, you know, just all over each yeah. other all the time. Do you ever ask Jake to speak on your behalf and tell the younger ones that there was a time where you were an active father? <laughs> You're like, oh, you should have seen him on the uh, monkey bars in the '90s. I have, I have. All right. Yeah, and as Jake pointed out to me, he's like, you know, Dad, it's good that you had these kids later, and that you had me earlier, so that I could then tell them all about you. <laughs> Later. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. But it's the five year old's birthday today. You have, oh, and by the way, so uh, yeah. five year old birthday, is it true that the older one no. uh, is not uh, enthusiastic about the fact that you're celebrating? Yeah. He's not, he's not. He's, he's, he's advocating to just ignore the birthday. If he's like, he's like, I just don't understand. First of all, he's using, I don't know if your kids do this, but like, my, Rocco's very into using words in the, incorrectly, like new words that he likes. Yeah. Lately, he's like, loves the words immediately. So he's like, I don't immediately understand why we have to celebrate his birthday. <laughs> And I'm like, I know I, that's not how you use the word immediately, but, and he's like, I don't understand. He goes, we have my birthday in February. Why do we have to celebrate his in November? <laughs> I don't immediately understand. And I'm like, <laughs> so You're like, give yourself time. You don't have to understand uh, yeah, immediately. Give yeah. yourself a couple hours. Uh, family oh. photo right there. There's all yep. three kids. We, um, we can see different. And your uh, uh, wonderful Hulk uh, yeah. costume there. Yeah. Really, you put the uh, you put the effort in. Yeah. And then your beautiful white rose burn there. Solve the answer. I solved the question. Where does Hulk put his wallet? Yep. There you go. That, uh, <laughs> Little, little bag there. Oh. Yeah, I think that's why he was mad. <laughs> that's right. Bruce, Bruce Banner had to wear a fanny pack, and then he was so angry about it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He turned into the Hulk. That's right. It was classic, though. I wasn't planning on that and wearing that. Rose was like, well, who's going to carry the keys? And I was like, I guess I'll put the fanny pack on. <laughs> I know that you are uh, you're a pretty good chef, right? You like to cook? I do. I like to cook, yeah. And do the kids like your cooking? I mean, I'm the only one in the house that does cook. Okay, the kids got to right. eat. You know? <laughs> they so. do got to eat, right? So, at some point, you got to learn a skill, yeah, right? Do yeah. they like your food? Do you like? Uh... They do. They like my food. The, the, you know, the problem is that they 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 love bread. You know, they just uh -huh. love yeah. bread, man. So I'm constantly figuring out ways to just make bread a, an interesting <laughs> new way to eat bread. That is a real challenge for yeah, a chef. It yeah. Is. So it's like you know, today was French toast. We got you know Vegemite toast. We have uh, you know bread bread with cheese on you know grilled cheese. And, <laughs> Um, but uh, they like my, they, you know, I do. I make a good, pretty good tomato sauce and um, and um, and and bur you know burgers and you know if they're kids, man. So you yeah. know, it's it's tough. It's tough to find things that they like, particularly at lunchtime. You know, like they they go to a school where you have to make lunch, and I'm just stumped all the time. Yeah, you know? nothing is worse toast. than when they bring home. Uh, I don't know if you have this where they bring home the lunchbox 
and you just open it up praying that it won't be exactly as you packed it? Yes. You just like, That's exactly just right. one bite. It's just the first question I asked. It. Yeah. It's the first question I asked. Did you eat the lunch? I took a bite. <laughs> And like everything's gone, like the pirate booty's gone, the uh, the little bunny grams are gone, yeah. and it's just carrots and ham sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> now uh, this show uh, we saw a clip from this is based on a true story. Yeah. This is a very haunting uh, true story about yeah. a suburban family started receiving letters like that. Their house was being watched. How, did you were you aware of it all before you took it on? You know, I, I mean, I was just in terms of uh, being turned, uh, being given the story, the New York article, which was very, very popular. You know, before the show, there was this one source, this New York Magazine story that was like viewed so many yeah, times. Everybody passed it around. It everybody passed it around. Read. So clearly, it was resonating for people on some level. And I think you know Ryan Murphy who sort of very good at having his finger on the zeitgeist, just thought, you know, that'd be a good idea to, um, to make a show about it. But how he initially approached me about it, you know, it was during COVID, and he was like, I don't know about you, man, but COVID made me feel really powerless to be able to protect my family. And I think for him, it was more of an allegorical thing, you know, to tell this story in the guise of, like, it's about a house and getting these letters, but really it's about fear, and it's about people being unable to control what they can't control. And I think that's what people respond to. It's why, you know, we have such a big reaction to, like, the ending, which I won't give away, but, you know, I have people stopping me in the street now, you know, <laughs> telling me, giving me their opinion about the ending, <laughs> you know? Well, you were saying, I mean, this is, I mean, this has been so popular and I think you're an actor that everybody knows you from a different thing, but yeah. this last month must be crazy because I would imagine almost everyone who's approaching you is approaching you about this one about specific About the one thing, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually it's like, yeah, it's, 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 I can't, it's, it's very, it's different things. Everything from did we go to high school together to, <laughs> um, you know, the, yeah, you know, Third Watch, Will and Grace. There's all, all these different things. Um, um, so this has been pretty, it's been pretty, yeah, it's it's obvious how popular this thing is. It's so popular uh, that a second season was just announced. Just today. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, everybody will, is going to have more things to talk about you on the street about. Well, the Watcher, still watching. <laughs> still watching. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much for being here. It's always a pleasure thanks, to see you. Love to you thanks. and the family. Bobby Cannavale, The Watcher, streaming now on Netflix. We'll be right back with more Late Night.